Hey awesome friends, I am Claybo. Today we are going to learn about clock and how to tell the time. Before we dive into the video, let's get to know about the various parts of a clock. Just grab the alarm clock kept on your study desk and observe how the clock looks. A clock has a face called a clock face. The hour hand, the minute hand and the awesome numbers from 1 to 12. You can also see one or more hands that runs swiftly on the clock. Those are seconds or milliseconds hand. We will learn about them in some other class. Today we will focus on the two major hands of a clock. The minute hand and the hour hand. Let's have a closer look at the two hands of the clock. The minute hand is bigger than the hour hand. Do you see that? Now, here is the cool part, understanding the difference between hours and minutes. Imagine the hour hand is like a small sister and the minute hand is the big brother. The big brother is always in a rush and moves faster in groups of five, while the little sister always follows the big brother but slowly. So both the minute's hand and the hour hand work together but they move in their own special ways. Let's read the hour. Look where the small sister or the hour hand is pointing. If it's pointing at 3 and the big brother or the minute hand is on 12, it's 3 o'clock. Easy peasy, right? When the short hand is on 1 and the long hand is on 12, it is 1 o'clock. When the short hand is on 2 and the long hand is on 12, it is 2 o'clock. When the short hand is on 3 and the long hand is on 12, it is 3 o'clock. When the short hand is on 4 and the tall hand is on 12, it is 4 o'clock. When the short hand is on 5 and the long hand is on 12, it is 5 o'clock. When the short hand is on 6 and the long hand is on 12, the time is 6 o'clock. When the short hand is on 7 and the tall hand is on 12, it is 7 o'clock. When the short hand is on 8 and the tall hand is on 12, it is 8 o'clock. When the short hand is on 9 and the long hand is on 12, it is 9 o'clock. When the short hand is on 10 and the long hand is on 12, it is 10 o'clock. When the short hand is on 11, and the long hand is on 12, it is 11 o'clock. When the short hand is on 12 and the long hand is also on 12, it is 12 o'clock. As I told you earlier, the minute hand moves faster in groups of 5. That means on this clock face there are 12 digits. 1 to 12. Between each number, there is a gap of 5 minutes. Example, between 1 and 2, there is a gap of 5 minutes. Between 2 and 3, there is a gap of 5 minutes. Similarly, between 3 and 4, there is a gap of 5 minutes. So, we will keep on adding these 5 minutes to the actual time. Now let's see what happens when the minute hand is not on 12 but on any other number. When the short hand is on 3 and the long hand is on 1, it's 5 minutes past 3 or simply 3, 5. Now when the long hand goes on 2, we will just add 5 more minutes. So 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. 
It's 10 minutes past 3 or simply 3.10. When the long hand goes on 3, simply add 5 more minutes to 10. So 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. It's 15 minutes past 3 or simply 3.15. Similarly, when the long hand goes on 4, add 5 more minutes to 15. So 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. It's 20 minutes past 3 or simply 3.20. When the long hand goes on 5, add 5 more minutes to 20. So 20 plus 5 is equal to 25. It's 25 minutes past 3 or simply 3.25. When the long hand goes on 6, add 5 more minutes to 25. So 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. It's 30 minutes past 3 or simply 3.30. Likewise, when the long hand goes on 7, add 5 minutes to 30. So, 30 plus 5 is equal to 35. It's 35 minutes past 3 or simply 3.35. When the long hand goes on 8, add 5 minutes to 35. So, 35 plus 5 is equal to 40. It's 3.40. Now, when the long hand goes on 9, add 5 minutes to 40. So, 40 plus 5 is equal to 45. It's 345. When the long hand goes on 10, add 5 minutes to 45. So, 45 plus 5 is equal to 50. It's 350. When the long hand goes on 11, add 5 minutes to 50. So, 50 plus 5 is equal to 55. It's 355. And similarly, when the long hand goes on 12, the short hand will go on 4. So, it's 4 o'clock. Hmm, it's question time now. Can you tell me the time on this clock? Well done. It's 4.10. We hope you like the video. Subscribe to Jingle Kids for more such educational videos. It's time for me to go. See you next time. Bye.